I think there are two aspects of chronic lymphocytic leukemia that the primary care physician has to pay attention to. And these are the two major reasons why patients with CLL get into trouble. One is the failure of the bone marrow to work properly. And so we take very seriously any changes which affect the red cells or the platelets. And if they're being made in short supply, this could be a consequence of the leukemia. And the other is immune suppression. So the uh, leukemia tends to suppress immune function, and therefore patients are more susceptible to even common infections. So as a primary care provider, you have to know this. It's important. Uh, you can ask the question, is it worthwhile to even know whether you have this leukemia early on? I would say knowledge is always a good thing. I mean, if you do know that you have leukemia, I think paying greater attention to those two facets is important. If you do have an infection, you may want to work up a little bit more thoroughly the cause of the infection and may have a lower threshold for starting antibiotic therapy. I don't think we gain very much if we withhold antibiotic therapy from such patients out of the idea that they may have a virus infection or we may be too liberal in the use of antibiotics. I've seen many cases where patients have a very mild infection that progresses onto frank pneumonia that perhaps could have been eliminated if they had taken antibiotics earlier. And this is something that the primary care physician needs to know about in following patients with CLL.